Well, we got the key to that one place, but what's over here? Did we get anything else besides the key? Like, he didn't drop anything else, did he? And the key, I think, is more implied to be given to us by Simon Manus, the leader of the alchemists. Key obtained from Simon Manus, leader of the alchemists. See what I say? It opens a grand exhibition gallery where the Saintess of Mercy statue can be found. The genius engineer Camille received a request from the alchemists and created a masterpiece. This was the Saintess of Mercy statue that brought back to life the puppets under golden divine protection. Weird. Oh, I did get a soul. Reborn Champions Ergo. Ergo obtained from the champion Victor. It is packed with immense power. The treasure hunter may want this rare Ergo. Victor had once been praised for standing at the pinnacle of all living beings. When he recovered his dwindled strength, he swore absolute fealty to the alchemist. I guess that makes sense. He would be working with the alchemist because they gave him back life. Um. The Isle of Alchemists. According to the guide, Vanini visited that place. That's something, I guess. This, this is like leading me up to where they were, right? Nope, this is leading me up somewhere else. Wonder if they're still hanging out. I see you guys. I love you guys. I'd love to chat. Maybe I should go check out the, um... That door first. Oh, yeah. You guys just still standing there? Um... I don't really want to rust yet. I know won't really change anything. If anything, I'm a little paranoid about what it might do to people. I, um... People that, like, exist right now, I guess, since Fox and Cat are hanging out. But, uh, also that one lady should end up at the, uh, hotel now, I would assume. Oh. What are you doing here? I really just felt the need to bend the knee. Another. So, I mean, I'm assuming. Oh. Saint is a mercy statue. You can do a system reset using. What? Golden coin fruit can be consumed to reset your level of Purigan Legion arm. This more times you reset, the more gold fruit it requires. I can do that to tree though. Sorry to startle you. It seems that the power of the listener with me. The power to hear Erica. I like how she was just standing in the middle of the room. I'm sorry I spooked you. It's powerful enough to send not only my voice, but even illusions. Maybe it's because of the power of this Saint Tess statue. I came to you because I wanted to tell you about Simon. The terrible things he does. I should have told you about Simon earlier. But it's the sort of thing you have to see to believe. He is the most dangerous man in Krat. He spreads mayhem and death for a delusion he calls evolution. That's not the way he called Simon said it. wants to evolve a new world in Krat. A horrible future, even worse than the disasters we already face. That's why I woke you up. If you can't save Krat from Simon, no one can. What about Jiminy? You woke Find him up. the Isle of Alchemists. Someone must know how to get there. I will help as much as I can, of course. Please. Save Crot. 
Whatever choice you make, I shall wait for you. That is why I'm a listener. To bear witness. Oh, many things. I've always wondered why I'm a listener. Has got years, why girl. This power came to me in this time and place. But now I understand. Ergo reached out, wanting someone to hear it was once human. Or maybe it wanted someone to remember it. Perhaps a god or an angel. Who knows? But the alchemists have tainted everything. The gold coin tree is a pathetic creature they created from the listeners. Like many of their creations, it's tragic, but useful. You can control Ergo with gold coin fruits. The sad tears of those who became trees. If they get the chance, the alchemists might force me to make such a tree for them. Or something even more tragic. Don't let the sacrifice of the alchemists' victims be in vain. With the fruit, they lend their strength to you. Collect gold coin fruits, and let the Saintess statue inspire you to victory. You honor their sacrifice, their grief, and tears. Petrification disease, puppet frenzy, and carcass monsters don't happen by chance. Did you say carcass? They're all related to Ergo. Ergo is the essence of life made from the petrification disease. It contains the memories and distilled lifespan of the victim. That's why puppets sometimes awaken their old selves or describe someone else's memories. Simon coveted Ergo's power and he noticed that the process of curing the petrification disease could also create enhanced humans. Krat became a city of monsters and petrification disease because of Simon's terrible experiments. The King of Puppets tried to stop Simon, but he didn't do well either. Yeah, might have been part of that. Our only hope is you. Save Krat from this nightmare. I'm Whatever gonna ask for something else. Make, yeah, my choice is to level up. How much I got? Two? Yeah, I'd start doing technique with that capacity. Yeah. Nice. Bonus behind the statue. Gotta always look behind the statue. I, Adriana, record it for the brothers and sisters, praise Pistris, the one who will swallow even God. Listen, my brothers and sisters, I, Pristis, shall tell you about the world's secrets. So said Pristis. I didn't even read what the title was. In the beginning, it was a wish. It had to be a wish. It's the only paradise perishable humans can have. For thousands of years, humans' wishes perished, but one reached a star. That was a miracle. More so because that star was a very good one. The star answered the humans and descended to Earth. Then everything began. You puppet who dreams of a new life oh, offer God this device something. must be powered by gold coin fruit. A new life for an old puppet. Yeah, so this is just all that stuff. Huh. Can I read the... A new life offer of... Okay, it just says offer of gold coin. Okay. Um... I wonder if this was a... I wonder if they, like, made it so the gold tree could be used in, like, a patch. Because that seems... The gold tree seems more like a convenience thing where the statue kind of lost I, I feel like doesn't have a lot of luster to it when you don't 
when you could have just respect whenever they're gone that makes sense that they would leave when you go there because that's kind of what they were waiting for also I didn't ever rest at a bonfire it might have been because I leveled up but I have my uh all my stuff back so hopefully my friends aren't gone that would make me sad Hi, buddies. Ciao, Bello. It seems you and I share a strong connection. Ugh. Talking to an alchemist is like talking to a brick wall. That's also an alchemist. Brother, you should say hello to your friend. But it is true that we are in something of a bind. We're going to need to consult with our old friend. You got that right, sister. Our pal is sure to help us. We didn't behave that badly at his last shindig. I hope. A moment, please. My young brother here is slowly but surely losing his very sight, his windows to the world, to a terrible, slow working illness. That is why I seek the gold coin fruit. It's said to work miracles, and do I ever need one? The alchemists give us just enough to keep him going, but not enough to cure. And never what they promised. We can't rely on those crucible-kissing wizards. Please, don't make me beg. He needs this. Besides, for a fellow who raided the Black Rabbit Brotherhood's den and walked out in one piece, it'll be as easy as eating your weight in Bumbaloni. Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Uh, are you there? C can, can you hear me? Please. Uh, the are gold you already coin blind? Fruit is the only thing that helps. Can you spare any? As a personal favor? Yeah, I just have to like. I, I mean, how many do you need? But I just have to like wait ten minutes to get some. So. <gasps> we knew you were a true friend, and generous. <laughs> That's right. I liked you from the start. You know, just out of feeling. If you felt otherwise, that wasn't me. <laughs> Ignore this one. When he gets excited or just feels happy, he gets chatty. But he really is grateful. We both are. On that note, I hate to borrow and run, but we have another request from the Alchemist to take care of, so we will be staying behind. You'll need to go on without us, so... I suppose this is farewell. I won't ever forget your kindness. Here. A small token, but it's a gift from the heart. Now go. Quixotic and beg, Jesus. Okay. Well, do you think he really was blinding? Honestly, I didn't really expect you to bring us a damn thing, and yet, thank you. Truly. I'm not saying I'm ready to set up housekeeping, or that I even trust you. <laughs> but given time, I think we could become actual friends. I thought we were already buddies. I never forget a friendly face. Now go. Also, he is like incredibly short and she is incredibly tall. Uh, I'm sure there's a side of grace after wow. we go in here. Uh, you need me? I was surprised when the bell rang. The Isle of Alchemists, you say? And monsters. This is a nightmare. I'm living my own nightmare. Puppets and alchemists forget it. It is their secret island. A place hidden from the world. But even if we could find it, how to get there? <sighs> what about... I don't know if it even works anymore. But one still requires fuel, needs must when the devil drives. There could still be a way. A dangerous but marvelous mode of transportation. But it won't work without a golden ergo. What's a golden ergo? My research, well, Purcinella did a lot of the heavy lifting, has led me to believe you can find one deep within the barren swamp. It's also led me to believe it is guarded by actual monsters. So, I can't make this decision for you. It's up to you. No, I'm not going to tell you the details yet. Not until we have that golden ergo. It's just not worth 
getting our hopes up, compagno. Is it gonna be like a hot air balloon? Like. Like, he's talking about like a special form of transportation. Gonna go in a submarine? Feels like a wacky little side quest to, uh, you know, the other stuff, the more important stuff that we're trying to do. I was actually trying to read that loading screen. It was talking about Simon. Evening after rain. How much time has supposedly passed? Because we, we had like a... I think a full night before, right? Let me take... Get to a stargazer. I really thought it would just be like right here. Benini crates landmark guide. Uh, to, in the issue of Benini's guide, we'll like to introduce a special place different from our previously featured attractions. We don't mean special in a good way. Of course, it may cater to a few people with peculiar tastes, but if you're an adventurer who wants to know all about crate. It's worth learning about its shadows. In that sense, the Barren Swamp is the area that showcases Crate's shadows well. The Barren Swamp is where, I hope this isn't like Poison Swamp, is where scrapped puppets are discarded because it's composed of swamps and ravines. It wasn't part of the city's development. In the past, it was briefly a coal mine, but was soon forgotten because of the Ergo discovery. Later, a few shrewd factory businesses concerned about scrapped puppets began to dispose of them illegally. Here, turning the swamp into what it is now. A swamp full of discarded puppets and corrupted animals. It's Crate's grave itself. Luckily, the city announced that they'll turn the barren swamp into a park with the exhibition just around the corner. So we're seeing some hope here. The living grave of hell. How about seeing the kind of place with your own eyes before anything's developed? Good or bad, an experience is an experience. Rating 2.5 out of 5. Attraction for those who want to see Crate's shadows. Long boots are a must. Uh, this guide was made with support from Vanini. Sounds super. Love Puppet Graveyard. Just sounds like a grand time all around. I'm gonna say probably shouldn't be wearing this set. Uh, uh, everyone wants to talk here. But no one else wants to talk there. I wonder what, um, I don't remember his name. I don't remember the puppet's names very well. That makes me a bad person. The one that loves. I wonder what he wants to say. I also have a record to play. I like that they uh, show me with the ones I haven't played yet. I really want to talk to you first. I'm afraid you saw my bad side at the Grand Exhibition. I was able to escape, thanks to you. I didn't mean to be ungrateful. I'm a soldier from outside, Krat. They sent us in pairs to investigate. I got trapped by the blockade and separated from my partner. I don't think the puppets are the only things at play here. Oh, uh, you don't say. Can I stay with you until I get in touch with my partner? I get the puppets, but what are the monsters doing here? What is happening to Crot? Her name was Belle. I called her Juliet or something before. Lady Antonia has heard about the Grand Exhibition. She realizes their cure is meaningless. Her illness has worsened, perhaps because she lost hope. I fear we might lose her soon. Lady Antonia cautions against it, to be sure, but I still believe the gold coin fruit is our last hope. 
I have heard about an alchemist who knows how to use that most miraculous of medicines. Please find a way to treat her. I, I might know a guy, depending. I, I might know a guy. Yeah, dog troll. Where'd my guy go? People have no idea. Thanks for keeping. Where'd my guy go? I hear there is a new guest at the hotel, and that you had a little something to do with that. I just find saving people is its own reward. I certainly don't need the money. I, I mean, you didn't do anything? Be strangers. Everyone deserves some help now and then. If we who live through times like this don't live the best lives we can, we dishonor the memories of all we have lost. Honoring the lost is why I do what I do. In a way, I envy the dead. They don't have to know what it's like to remember that they're gone. Ta! And here I go again. Blah, 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 and who cares? <laughs> Now, let's get out there and save my... That is our city. Benini's cool. <laughs> the Grand Covenant. You're not asking much, are you? Very well. Geppetto himself created it, and I... God help me, I made it work. It's in every puppet. A sort of... Conscience. No, that's and what Jiminy is. Theory, it should have prevented anything like the puppet frenzy ever happening. It's because we don't truly understand ergo, at least that's my view. Sometimes ergo-driven puppets gain what we call awakened egos. Individuality, more or less. Which is a dangerous thing if someone's not ready to handle it. Though that is rare. Or used to be. So it's just Hence, something that was known about. Covenant. Humanity's safety net. But it did not work. The puppet frenzy happened anyway. And I still don't know how. So, the king of puppets, how did he get around the covenant, I wonder? He used the ergo wavelengths, but what did he do to their consciences? However, it's a different story when a single puppet cracks the safety device of so many puppets. Does the Grand Covenant break when their ego awakens? Or did someone cause the frenzy after lifting the Grand Covenant? If it's the former, the King of Puppets is the culprit. If it's the latter, the King of Puppets is a means to an end. I am but a simple... Brilliant, genius, and the man about town. I do not pretend to be otherwise. That is why I'm asking you to solve this. Everything depends on what you do now and your choices. I mean, you're asking a lot out of me, but I think you're kind of right. <laughs> like, honestly? Um... His, like, grand, uh, King Puppet's soul... I think it was the soul indicator that he didn't really want to do stuff, that he might have been a means to an end. Also, like... So... Ergo is human soul, basically. Life, stream, nonsense, whatever. And it powers the puppets. And... And somehow that just awakens to kind of create its own... singular soul in the puppet kind of thing. Like, I don't know if... I feel like we don't really know enough about like obviously i was made to oh, i'm looking real freaked out right now i was made to replace geppetto's son and they kind of uh, i think sophia kind of mentioned that like other puppets are made like that but a little unclear on how that entirely works um so i think then I... 
not ever make this. I guess I never did. Um, so then, lost my train of thought. Should not have looked at arms. I, um... Ergo, in the puppet, awakened some kind of soul. As far as I would believe currently, it's that the uh, awakened Ergo is like a singular soul, and it's not like a weird legion of the Ergo goo that's in the puppets. Uh, I don't really know entirely what that would mean for the like superhuman stuff that Ergo can do. And, uh, what was the... The note that we had... Big. That's the one. You really dropped down quick for that one. Um... Trying to find the note's gonna be a pain. Whatever that other material was called proud inorganic cluster structure called crowd there's a ground collapse in the west crate people collected the bodies of the farmers minerals and ruins at the bottom of the pit I don't know where we are map-wise. Do you think we'll end up in these ruins? We might learn more about it if we do. Well, it also talks about the alchemists of the isle settling down, so it might be on the isle itself. Tilden Crowd was deemed a mere stalagmite with ergo components. It, like, it consumes Ergo. In the city. And it's, uh, it's just growing in the city. Hmm. I think we'll get more info on that. I don't think there's enough to really go on to how that effectively works with the, uh, making of superhumans. Um, so then, with the petrification disease, is that actively uh, a byproduct of the alchemists studying? Okay, cat just kind of chills up there. That a byproduct of the alchemists messing with stuff, mainly Simon, but I would say just generally all alchemists. Do, um, me a favor. Okay. For once, it's not difficult or dangerous. Just give this to Alidoro. I'd give it to him myself, but he's in the barren swamp now. Why did he go there? You I need to see the him. Significance of this gift, I know. Just do this for me, and and I'll be grateful. Thingy glove. I'm gonna look at it. A gift of gloves made by Eugenia for Alidoro. Uniquely, it only has four fingies. Eugenie vividly remembered the stalker who saved her from the workshop tower right before she starved to... What? Right, I guess right before she was about to starve to death. But... I, that almost made it sound like she did starve to death. She prepared a thoughtful gift to thank him for his heartbreaking sacrifice. Did, um... Eladuro not have a hand? The workshop tower, huh? I know my way around a weapon. Oh, okay, you know your way around a weapon. Wish I could talk to you more about this, but... Whatever, it's fine. Um, okay, well, I'm upset that he's in the swamp. didn't have anything for me to what Gepetti says about the swamp. All right, I want to see if this guy is the alchemist that knows things about tree. Ah, 
How's Help me out, the brother. cure for the petrification disease coming along? Glad you asked. It's going well, thanks to you. Sadly, it cannot cure everyone completely. Victims who have progressed too far have already lost organ function, and there's no way to restore that. Even if we eliminate the petrification disease, they won't last long. Their passing might be less painful than petrification, though. Are you sure? I can make a cure, Mr. Stalker, but... I leave the choice to you. A longer but painful life, or a quicker but peaceful end. I'll make the cure if you give me one gold coin fruit. Uh... I mean... I guess you're not suffering from the petrification. But... I don't quite get how the petrification makes your life longer, but obviously painful. We're gonna... What I would say is probably... The cure isn't exactly stable. Give it to the patient as soon as possible. Super. Um... Prototype of a cure made by Jangio using gold coin fruit. They say it can be given to someone suffering from petrification disease as a cure. Petrification disease not only makes the body stiffen, but also causes long-term organ failure. There's no guarantee that someone who catches it will survive even after being cured. Did I have an extra coin, or was I given that coin back? I think I was given that coin back. The Vanini coin. Um... I, I would... Realistically... I feel like the choice should not be up to me. I feel like it needs to be kind of laid out plainly. I mean, what do you think, dudes? I believed in you, and my belief has been rewarded. She can be cured. It feels like a dream. The possibility of imminent death, though. <laughs> Why won't pain ever leave her alone? Yeah, that, that is a bit of a snag, I isn't it? Cannot make this choice. Every option is painful. I cannot know what's best for her. What would... What would you choose? Fuck, dude. Ah. Uh... Like, this is a, a heavy decision. I think I would use the cure. I feel like she should probably make the decision herself, but... Yes. I suppose ignoring her pain wouldn't be right. Thank you so much. No matter what happens, I will accept it. I will administer the medicine. Please accept this token of my gratitude. I don't... Really liked that it. it's just a decision not. Uh, I don't like that it's a decision that we didn't really make with her consent. People have no idea. Thanks for keeping me company. Mm. Let me play the piano. I know he said that she would be against using it. Like that's. That's the problem too, is she's a ah, oh, I don't I don't feel great now. She's like actively against using it as a medicine was what he implied. I should have seen if I could have talked no to her before. What fate brings us serving her welcome to her. Okay, great dude. I go. Let's rest and see what happens after a rest. No matter what, the serving welcome to her. Hey, I mean, it looked like she was still hanging on. Oh, it's you. Come here. Okay. I've been in such a good mood all day. 
I have a feeling I'll be in better shape in no time. Oh, and you better not underestimate me just because I'm not as spry as I used to be. I know you and Polandina are up to something. Yeah. <laughs> Still, I haven't felt this happy in a while. Oh, that's good. Only kind people can give others this sort of happiness. I always treasure a day like today. <laughs> Thank you. People have no idea. Thanks for keeping. Okay. Should I just rest again and see how this progresses? Look, it tells me that the hand's over there. I mean, maybe she's just super fine. I don't know. People have no thanks for keep. Okay. Well, well, we'll see every time we come back here. How do you feel, dude? No matter what, for serving welcome to. Feeling great. Do you have anything? I get the puppets. What is no. happening? All right. I guess we should go find a friend.